Hi, seventh graders, it's Mr. Ron Hobby. Here's what we did in class today, October 30th, and last Friday, the 27th, I think it was. Uh, we're on your personalized pathway, so we're on notebook page 13. Today was a little different. Uh, we are addressing the climate change evidence for continental drift. So we are doing this part, uh, but you chose a class today. So whether you wanted to learn about glaciers or coal, you attended uh, different lessons. So if you picked glaciers, you went next door to Miss Nine, linked to the hands-on activity and took some notes. If you did coal, you stayed with me and we looked at how coal is formed and how it provides evidence for continental drift. If you're in Ms. Stein's class today, it was the same question, except it was glaciers. And how do glaciers provide evidence for continental drift? So our class, we just define the words, watch some video clips, got some background information, and then you created a seesaw to teach others how coal forms and how coal in Spitsbergen or Antarctica provide evidence for continental drift. What was weird about these places is this one is uh, way north near the Arctic Circle. And of course, you're aware that Antarctica is way south. They are cold, obviously, arid environments, cold and dry. The exact opposite of these swampy, humid, wet conditions needed to create coal in the first place. And so they provide evidence because they're full of coal. So the coal must have formed when they were closer to the equator. And they've drifted to their present day location since. So that was a piece of the continental drift puzzle. And so uh, with me, you made Seesaw Productions to teach others about the answers to the questions. Homework tonight, there's an Ed puzzle. It's a lengthy one, but it's a review of the evidence for continental drift, so it's worth your time. And so if you watch that and answer the embedded questions, you'll be ready for our review session next class. And next class, we're going to practice writing the essays through a writing workshop. And then on Thursday and Friday this week, you'll take your continental drift essay test. So you should be good to go by that time. Um, have a good night. Have a uh, great Halloween tomorrow. We'll see you soon. Bye.